Hey everybody, I'm BJ, this is Brickhouse Builds, and this video is going to be a more behind the scenes update. And I wanna to try to put these videos out every Thursday to pair with my normal Monday uploads, which are more focused. So let's kind of dive into it. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm working on and some uh, projects going forward. So we're in the back here and uh, you know, I got the V-Strom behind me. I have been asked to make some update videos on this thing and I really don't know how to do that. I've just been riding it. It's a fantastic bike. Knocked out like 160 miles on it with a girlfriend the other day and it was just flawless. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys would want to see with that thing. I don't really feel like modifying it too much. It's just good as it is. So. Beyond that, you've seen all of my XS400 videos, hopefully lately. I've got the frame back here. I'm actually working on uh, doing some JB Weld right here. So these are those channels for the wiring for the turn signals. So I laid that JB Weld in there the other day and I still need to actually sand it and smooth it. And then I can finally take the frame to powder coat. Um, I need to get on that. So that's gonna be tonight's project after I get some other stuff done, which I'll show you. Now, another thing we're working on involves the, uh, the chopper here, the CB750 that I have revived. That is a very fun bike. And as of now, it can go around the block. We can ride it a little bit. It's also the reason why I'm really extra scruffy right now. So we've got a fun video in the works for you on this one. But also, we have a road trip in mind for this thing. And I'll, I'll talk more about that here in a minute. Beyond that, that white CX-500, just playing around with it. It is available for purchase. Should anybody be interested, I will make an official sales post at some point, but stay tuned for that. So, blue CB750 over here. Uh, this thing was sitting for, I don't know, better part of three months or something like that. Three, four months to the winter. And uh, you know, I had some stable in it and just ran it full tank and just had it sitting in the shop. Got it back out, fired it first kick. We knew that was gonna happen though. So coming forward in the shop, we got that green CX-500. It is ready to go. I'm just waiting to get the seat back for it and it is going to be for sale. So I'll put a link below to uh, some of the videos of that bike, but that's another cool one. Um, as Seth put it, probably my most advanced build yet. I'm building a little cart. It's a pretty cute little guy. It's gonna go in the kitchen here, so. Um, Definitely necessity. We need some dishes in here and I have no place to put them for right now. So we're doing a, an advanced cart build. It's gonna be, gonna be sweet. So up front here, working on a CB754 customer, diagnosing a running issue. And then we have some sprocket misalignment issues that we're going to rectify. So, you know, pretty, pretty simple there. Seth has, um, I don't know, we're both, are we like, are we old at this point or, or what? Old. I don't know. We're, he, he's putting a rack on his CB750 because he really likes mine. They're so versatile. I like convenience, man. And we're nice. going to start wearing high vis and stuff. So uh, that might be a stretch. Oh. Yeah, maybe, maybe a stretch. But there is a, reason, a secondary reason for the rack. I mean, yeah, you're going to plan on daily riding this thing and you know, carrying gear and stuff on it. But I mentioned I would talk more about the chopper. So. Seth and I and my friend Matt, we are going to do a little CB750 overnight road trip. We don't have a date set yet, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're all three going to be piloting our uh, 750s and we're going to be putting our gear on there. We want to do an overnight camp from the bikes, not get like a hotel or anything like that. We're going to road trip down to Southern Missouri. So what that means is that we have to actually get the chopper, not just running and riding, but we have to get it really safe for the road. So. I'm gonna to get to work on that thing, or actually Seth's gonna to get to work on it. You're gonna do tires, um, fork seals, get the front end aligned, just all the stuff. So yeah, we're adding that in the mix. Lastly, let's see, we got, uh, we got the CX-500 here. So recently tore the engine out of this thing. Um, I have had this bike for like t t at least two years, I'd say. I mean, you've seen it. And I, I actually bought this one with the red CX-500 you've seen a lot of videos on. And this one was already custom built um, by a friend of mine. And I'm just, we're going to take it to the next level. And this will ultimately be for sale. But it's got a Moto Gadget M unit and all the good stuff. I'm going to rewire it, just make it uber clean. And beyond that, we're just going to clean the engine, do all of the regular services to it. 
and uh, you know, clean this thing up. Just make it nice, take it to the next level up, and it will be, you know, of course, for sale. So a lot of, a lot of stuff going on for you guys. Um, let's see, another one. Don't, don't look at that. We don't need to look at that VMAX. CBX, a lot of people asking about it. So I am in the midst of reviving this thing. So my next real project, fast forward, we're skip ahead. So the next project is to start recataloging all of the parts. So basically from here over on the shelf is all CBX engine parts as well as that tote down there holding the uh, like crankshaft, cylinder head, I've got the jugs there. We got a lot of parts for this thing. So it has been approximately two years since I've last touched this thing. I know it's been a long time. And like anything, if you take that big of a gap from a project, it's just, yeah, you forget where stuff goes. And luckily I'm very meticulous in how I label and organize stuff. So the mission will be to just get all of the engine hardware out. I want to photo catalog it and then I need to get it off to plating and we need to get this engine assembled. Coming forward here. I've had the, the whole case just sitting on the shelf over here forever. And you know, it's still painted black. I need to have this thing uh, blasted. I might even be able to just vapor hone it myself. We'll see. Um, so yeah, that's another another project, but I want to get the engine assembled as soon, not as soon as I can. I'm going to take my time with it, but I need to get the engine assembled first and then we'll turn our attention to the chassis. So let's see what else we got to talk about. Got these Bridgestones for sale. I wish somebody would buy those things. I can't believe nobody has taken them from me yet. But yeah, I mean, I've got the Road King here. I just recently did a set of bars on that thing. Um, not really something I'm going to show on video. It still has a charging system issue and I need to diagnose that. The KLR650, uh, the last video I did on that thing was doing the rear suspension. And as of now, it needs some new steering bearings, which I can't believe. But other than that, it's, just, it's good to go. So, and yeah, I know this isn't a car channel, but I do have my other channel called Tangents. And I do showcase more car stuff on there. And I know I need to work on the Cadillac here. The Pantera need, needs work. And I've had the, uh, the Porsche. You know, I've been doing all kinds of work too as well. So, yeah. I don't know. There's a lot more going on behind the scenes. Packaging orders. Getting stuff shipped out. Getting this place set up. And also doing vintage bike nights. So by the time this video goes up, it will already have been passed. But... If you guys are in the St. Louis area and you want to come to a vintage bike night at the shop, usually the second Wednesday of every month, we're going to try to make it happen. So, yeah, I'll put some info in the description. So, yeah, really just kind of loose behind the scenes video. Um, I want to try to keep these up and just, again, showcase what we're working on more behind the scenes. And so you guys know what to look forward to, maybe some upcoming videos, you know, of course, just behind the scenes. So yeah, if you like any of the projects you've seen, I have videos on them. Take a cruise to the channel and check them out. Subscribe if you haven't already and let me know if you guys have any questions. So let me know what you guys think and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.